Where y'all want to start, man? It's uh, I was in vultures. New Orleans. Oh, you went okay. okay. We, can, we, can, we can get the vultures. We can get the vultures. I ain't vultures. Head, though. Ah oh, man, it is. I was telling drugs because me and drugs talk. We talk about Funko Pops. We talk about Pokemon. We talk about Christmas tree. We talk about dogs. I heard niggas talking about coffee the other day. Niggas talking yeah, exactly. about cold discuss, brew. Right. We discuss things. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I was letting him know. I said, listen, you have the, 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 uh, I will call it the No Child Left Behind trilogy by Kanye West. You know, the school trilogy. Mm-hmm. Right. Then you have My Twisted Dark. Oh, well, then you have, I would say, My Twisted Dark is better than 808s. Then 808s. And then I will put Vultures right after 808s. Wait, wait, wait. So are you... Okay, I, I see what you're saying. So the first three, My Beautiful Dark. Right. Vultures, then 808s? No, I will put 808s, then Vultures. Then Vultures. So what's that? So you, you count on the first three as one, then My Beautiful Dark, 808s, and then Vultures 4? Yeah, definitely. 100%. I heard... Go go ahead, Drew. I was just I was trying to think of the other albums. It's, it's funny you say mean, "No Child Left Behind" because he got a song on Don to name that, which is fucking. Yeah. I would I would I was way better than Donda. I love Donda. I ain't gonna lie, Donda it was I, I that was one of my most played albums that year, and it came out toward the end of the year. I so I haven't heard Vultures yet. I I, I was talking about I went to New Orleans this weekend. We played some of it on the way back. I heard like the first five. How'd you feel about it? The one with Freddie Gibbs, it got a little annoying with that sample. I ain't gonna lie. It did, like, it did, it did. When I when I when I first heard the snippet, I'm like, nah, this sample was amazing. But he didn't use Todd Allison to the end. Yeah, it and I it, it could be quite possible that he might change that shit around. Since the shit dropped, it done got taken off of Apple and streaming multiple times. They could have changed the album cover. So who knows? With Kanye, he does that shit. I ain't gonna lie. The North song, talking that shit, probably my favorite right now. But it was it was a favorite uh, yeah. before the album dropped. That shit is heat, bro. Like heat. That's uh, the that's, song after gotta, that with Le- it's called Legacy, I think, with Ty Dollar. That shit fire. Fire burn fire. I, I haven't heard much else though. Carnival. I heard Cardi verse. Carnival is in well, Rich the Kid. He had yeah. Rich the Kid, Ty Dolla Sign, Playboy Cardi. Oh my God, that shit is amazing. That's a good that lineup for a feature. Amazing. Too. That that's shit like, is amazing. That's like one of them feature lists you see on like meme pages where it's like you got five, you got twenty dollars to make a song, and they give you like tiers of artists, and you got to pick a ten dollar nigga, a five dollar nigga, or like you know what I mean. <laughs> That lineup just give me that vibe. You, I, I would have never thought I would see Rich the Kid, and I fuck with Rich, obviously. Shout out to Rich the Kid, I would, but I would have never thought I seen him on a song with Kanye. Nah, facts. Nah, he did his thing. That's like the it was like the perfect beat for, for Rich the Kid too, yeah. like sonically. I don't think niggas understand at this point how, what Rich the Kid means. Yeah, he's honestly nigga, in that era that like. Job- mm-hmm. Bro, the nigga just dropped a random single with Kendrick. But... Yeah, facts. <laughs> My bitch front rent new either. I don't need it. What? Pull up in it. The... Oh, shout out to Rista Kid, man. Like, Rista Kid is one of them artists that probably went overlooked for that era because there was so many new niggas. You had SoundCloud, but he was the one that, from the beginning, was kind of like already surpassing niggas in terms of like his business mm-hmm. and. His music, the nigga correct. Like, the nigga wasn't whack. Ain't that nigga from, like, Queens, too? I know he's from NY. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's from Queens. Shout out, shout out to my nigga, Rich the Kid. Man, I don't think he rep Queens, but he's definitely that, from Queens. You know the thing about Rich the Kid that was, that was fire to me, that I always loved, was the fact that he put niggas on. Like, that's why his, his career had, had, like, wasn't, it wasn't like Uzi, Uzi the Playboy Cardi's, because they, all they had to do was write about themselves. And he had a, Machine behind them, not a machine, yeah. but they had people behind them that were supporting them. Yeah, the machine. Had That's, a machine. That's a machine. Cardi had ASAP. Uzi had ASAP and DJ Drama and Cannon. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Rich the Kid had the Migos, but at the time the Migos wasn't wasn't as big as they are. You know what I'm saying? Now, not nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? He was the he was the fourth Migo. Respectfully, he was. He was that state little cousin. 
But he, at the same time, he was putting on Dexter. Then he put on Jay Critch. You see what I'm saying? So Dexter. he was he was still doing a lot of shit that was like that at that time kind of looked like uh whatever. But now you look back at it, it's like damn, he was really like bullshit before everybody. Yeah, like I said, his business, like say what you want, niggas. He did what everybody else did that came before him. Niggas try to say like he took niggas mass or whatever the fuck the niggas be saying. But at the end of the day, he put niggas on and them niggas is not in fucked up positions right now. Like them niggas is in way better positions than they were prior to doing business with this nigga. That, I knew Rista Kid was popping and he was that nigga because he had that song. Obviously, they had the um, Forever Rich album. When I heard Atlanta, I think it was season two, first episode. Came up with some bands. Bum in a sweater. Huh. Truly the pants. He did it again. Nigga had Jay Critch on Atlanta. That would only happen because of Rich the Kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jay Critch. I fuck with the boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, but, got, he, got a, he got a few songs that I really, really like. He, he got a lot of songs that I like. My my cousins is like underneath him on, on TME. They got songs together. Like, I would only know about it because of that, because of him. But Rich, uh, Jay Critch got like songs as heat. Like, a, a, a more than like a handful. Mm. Uh, it just it he's just an artist that I don't think he has intentions of getting bigger than he ever is right now. Nah, not at all. Um, what I was gonna say, um, with vultures back to vultures. I feel like sonically as well. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of sounds on like Kanye West's previous albums. As of late, as of recent, that just didn't sit right with me. And you know way? what I mean, like. Like it just it just didn't feel all right, so like I'm gonna give an example. If graduation is his best sonic, this is one of his best is it's his best album. Period. Mm-hmm. But sonically, it's one of his best, right? But then at the same time, it's like my twisted dark fantasy kinda is better than graduation sonically. Not lyrically, but sonically it is kind of the best. I hear what you're saying. I think that's when that era where music was changing in a way. Like, right. It, it, it got it, real it, grungy it, with the sounds. Right, right, right. It was like, because Monster Dog Fantasy, I look at as like a mixture of 808s and like late registration. Yeah, I feel you on that. You get what I'm saying? It is a mixture of that. But sonically, I feel like Vultures is his best work from the past like umpteen years, bro. With it, that really, sound? That's. Huh? Like with that, like that, that new because Kanye got different sounds. Like you got the old, like you said, the first three. It's a mix. It's a it's a it's a lot of my twisted shit in here. It's a lot of Pablo shit in here, right? But it just sounds really fucking good and well. Like 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 the 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 back to me song. It the the sample is annoying, but the format of the song is amazing. It's fine. I just love the like just structurally. The the sounds this nigga use like he uses different. When you listen to music nowadays, everybody using the same drum kits and sounds. But when it comes to Yay, his shit always sound different. I don't know if it's mixed different. Obviously, it is because he got Mike Dean in his corner. But the sounds itself, it sound real like live instrument, but not in the same way. He he, whatever sounds he using is not the the pack that everybody else got nowadays. But this is know, but this is this is why. I always say when when niggas sh- like talk about you know who the greatest is or whatever like I I, I never compare this nigga to nobody because anybody even if a nigga for example Drizzy very decorated very high up on the uh, whatever list you want to bring out but I could never compare. This nigga to Kanye. Number one, Kanye was here first. Uh, that always means more to me. But if a nigga was here, clearly he was inspired. He was nigga was <laughs> he was he was easy. Like so, you know. But man, bro, I, I, bro, I was listening to eight oh eight, eight oh eight, like son, like. Oh no! Nothing sounds like that shit. Like, <laughs> and I can't stop. And then he focused my his 
They're right. Welcome to Hawk. That's crazy, bro. Niggas used to run that song, bro. But <laughs> he, I, I, I realized, you know, the nigga's a cheat code, right? The nigga is clearly he started out a producer, a really, really, really great producer. Top three in That's his first wanted year. Wanted to rap, right? Yeah, that wanted to rap, but not only rap, but touch the people, make great music. Right, so his focus is like really different from everybody else because it's like he could tap into in like in production, you know, a lot differently than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying like even if he's not producing it, he's producing it. I give Kanye more credit than a nigga like. Like Timberland in terms of producing without Kanye is always technical with his production because you can tell he is the one pressing the buttons. To me, that always meant more than a nigga that is orchestrating. It's both talented, but if you, it, I feel like you get a little step above the nigga that's just orchestrating if you doing pressing the buttons yourself because you control, and especially if you rapping, you controlling exactly where. Your bar comes in where it hit. Like that shit is important for music. You know what I mean? Where the drop come in, where you want some shit to repeat, where you want an effect to come in. You know what I mean? He may not do all of it, obviously, but he does at least forty-five to fifty percent of the shit. That shit means a lot more to me. Do you have uh, Mars? Since you you like the only one that actually heard, and I, like I said, I heard a few. The, the Northwest. Uh, Talking joint is probably my favorite, but you know that was prior to the album dropping. Um, as you of got a right favorite? now, um, damn, um, I like too many. Hood Rat is something I was sleeping on that I heard. I'm like, I like this song a lot. That's the, I think that's the, is that the show with him and Chris Brown? I'm not sure, but um, fuck something and Carnival is insane. Clear of the closing doors, please. 